everybody, welcome back to uh, video number three in the Tester Stretter build. So if you remember in the last video we got all the heads together, put the cams in, did all the valve train, cleaned up all the valves and set all the clearances. In today's video we're going to be sticking in the pistons, the cylinders, put them onto the block and then we're going to be fitting the heads. Once we've got the heads on we'll put all of the side covers on and that will be that for this video. Um, that will leave us one last video where we'll do the timing belts, which I think deserves a video on its own because it's a slightly different process to the Desma Quattro. As you'd have seen so far in the build we've done on this Tester Stretter, a lot of the bottom end is very, very similar. It only starts changing once you get into the heads. Okay, so without much further ado, let's crack into the video. Difference between a Tester Stretter engine to a Desma Quattro engine is on the engine studs, we have these little seals at the bottom. As per any other engine when I'm putting it together, we've got sealant underneath this gasket. I'm just about to put some more across the top line there. The piston is now in place with piston sir clips all done and just ready to push down that cylinder for the vertical. So let's get the extra gasket material in there and we shall push them down and get the head on. Right, you'd have just seen that we've tightened up the head bolts for the vertical head. Um, same principle as the Desmo Quattro engines on the Tester Stretter. It's a three stage tightening process, so it goes 15 newton meters, 30 newton meters, and then finally with a 48. That leaves us just into doing the horizontal head, so I'm going to get the piston into the cylinder and then we'll place that on the engine and then get the head on.
Okay, so as you can see here now, what we're starting to do, having put all the engine together, is putting the side covers on. Now, the side covers have a number of seals that sit behind them that need to be held in place so that you can either create channels for the oilways between the oil feeds and the cam feeds, or just as the end of the um, water connections. The covers are held on by 16mm long uh, 6mm cap head bolts. So we're just getting those in there now, and then they'll all be done up to 10 newton meters. Anyway, that's enough of me talking. Let's get the music back on. Okay, thanks for watching. That's this video finished. The engine is all back together. All we've got to do now is put on the timing belts, which we'll do in the next video. And as I explained earlier in the introduction, it's slightly different to the way that you do it on the Desma Quattro engine because you time the cams differently if you're retaining the standard timing, which, we, which we're gonna be doing on this engine. So, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, chuck us a like down below. Any questions or comments, then feel free to ask and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you're not a subscriber to the channel, we'd really welcome you. We've got plenty more content coming up. I've got the build, or sorry, the servicing work needing doing on the RS250 before I race that in a couple of weeks. And then I haven't made up my mind whether to get into the Panigale rebuild or do the 916 SPS, but still plenty more videos to come. Okay, thanks for watching. See you later. Cheers now. Bye.